Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin, Friday, November 27th, around 9 a.m., and it's the day after Thanksgiving. And I had just set up this desk for uh, Addie. Uh, it was a wonderful sort of piece together, like a puzzle piece desk, and uh, I am refurbishing the uh, circa 2006 uh, Macintosh, reinstalling uh, OSX Snow Leopard, which I think is 10.6, the highest version that's uh, able to be installed on this without upgrading the memory. But really, what this video is about is the second on my Microsoft Surface Pro uh, 4. And uh, the main reason I'm getting this is to combine all my platforms that I use on a daily basis uh, into one. Uh, as you can see in the background is my Samsung Note uh, 5, which uh, has that wonderful uh, little stylus in it that uh, allows me to use it as sort of like that Khan Academy uh, training video style thing. And uh, do, 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 we drag that. Oh, okay, we can just keep it like that. That's no problem. Um, but I, I really love that. <clears throat> And I want that on my main platform. And of course, one of the uh, selling points of the Surface is that it's got this. So let's power this pup on and uh, go like that. And uh, so a lot of things about this is just perfectly natural. I'm getting that unification of the uh, uh, multiple platforms into one that I want. So it should soon be down to just my uh, Note 5 and my uh, Surface 4. Uh, but it's really critical to get this uh, writing, uh, talking while I'm writing stuff down. And like so many other people, kicking the tires of that process on the Windows platform, you encounter Camtasia, Camtasia Studio. I've been seeing Camtasia Studio from TechSmith for, I don't know, it must be over 10 years now that I've been interested in this sort of screencasting stuff. Never been a big user, but you can see... I have 29 days left on my 30-day trial, so it's really beautiful looking. I'm, uh, I'm, you can tell though that it has such tiny type in some cases. Uh, Windows really wasn't meant for ultra high resolution. This isn't even ultra high resolution, but Windows apps aren't meant for high res. Look at that. First observation in a platform that's being touted as so awesome. <clears throat> there's still some. Uh, idiosyncrasies in the essential uh, uh, OS platform. So anyway, I'm just going to close that, and we've got a user interface here that's fairly familiar, any Adobe Premiere, or uh, I use ScreenFlow on the Mac, but basically anyone used to video editing software uh, gets the basic deal of the timeline stuff at the bottom, your media assets and sort of a, a palette where you arrange stuff. They have little cute things like, oh, what are... So I don't know why they spent their time on, on, on doing ripply water when the essential thing that I need to do, okay, we hit this record to the screen, which will initialize and then bring up this little interface here, which is where you can set things. And you can see that little audio thing is going up and down as I talk. Audio is set to on. If I took it off, it would look like this, but there, audio is on. The uh, little audio thing is showing that uh, it can hear me. And again, these little drop-down menus, so tiny, it's like a video game. Microsoft has still not purged out the video game steering through menus aspect out of its system. It's going to take another decade for that to happen. But you can see it's uh, set to record my internal audio. I can also set it to record system audio, which I turned off just as a control to get this correct. I can go into options. Ah, you can see my how truly geeky I am here with the front camera. It's recording. So it's recording the front camera. It's getting my device audio correctly, at least seemingly. But now I hit record, and I go... Okay, we got it's got a countdown. I turn my function key on here. See, this is this has a function key uh, LED on it, a lot like the caps lock key. So the function key I'll turn to on, so that I can easily 
hit uh, what happens to be page da page up here to end the video. But I'm really just talking as I move stuff around, doing stuff, and you know, it's going to be so important for me to do these uh, drawing on the board videos while I talk. So here I am drawing. I'll do a fresh canvas. I'll choose a nice bold stroke and a uh, nice bold color and draw. And uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm doing some illustration. Oh, by the way, I forgot to demonstrate on my unboxing video the awesome eraser. Right? You got an eraser. And also the way this pen magnets here. So what you have essentially is the ideal uh, Khan Academy broadcasting uh, platform, style broadcasting platform, because you got your drawing, you got your pen right integrated in. It's really high quality. I know people talk about lag on the surface, but you know, look how big that brush stroke is. Lag? No. Uh, this is a decent platform. Uh, I'm not, I guess, into it enough to talk about the parallax. People have some parallax issues there as the pen point comes down. That can be fixed with calibration. But what I'm pointing out here now is, now that we're done with that, I'll hit the uh, function uh, page up and the video. Now what this is going to do is it's going to load this into preview and you can see the little dial going there. You should hear my voice coming back out. In fact, here we go. Turn up volume up to 100%. Where is the voice? This is just preview. So I figure, okay, it's just preview. If I save, I'm up to capture four. I hit save. Now it drops it into the main uh, Camtasia Studio editing interface. And I can start, I can hit play in it there. Again, where's the audio? You're seeing it progress through here. You'll see me load chrome in a moment and then uh, fresh paint I'll just zip up ahead I guess you can do that here but there's supposed to be an audio track that comes from the microphone now granted it would be picking up the fan there's this really kind of loud fan sound and internal microphones pick that up so maybe that's the issue but there should be some vertical sliders here with a track that is for the uh, the uh, Surface Pro's uh, internal microphone, and there's just not. And I don't understand it. Uh, you know, if I were to go into Tools, let's see, is it Tools, Record Camera? Turn it to the front camera. Enable, okay, so it's this other thing here that's locking up the front camera. Let me quit out of that. And you can see again the audio is being recorded. Now I can start recording here. Blah, 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 blah. You see how truly geeky I am. Stop recording. Okay, file name. Test. Save. Now I should be able to go back to my clip bin. There I have test. I can drag that down here. And there's an audio. You can see it's capable of doing audio. It just doesn't record it on the screencast like it's supposed to. Recording here. Blah, 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 blah. You see how truly geeky I am. Stop recording. Well, there you have it. Uh, I need to figure this out before I go dropping $300, $300 on uh, Camtasia, Camtasia, whatever it is, studio. Whereas the alternatives are things like, uh, let's see, where did I install it? It's some crazy name, uh, Broadcasts App Studio or something. I have Open Broadcaster Software on here. I also tried the uh, Cam Studio. And uh, I also tried the built-in Windows one, which you get to from going to, uh, where is it, Xbox. Now the thing about this is that uh, it works well if you're not switching between apps. Well, you've got to load this whole game environment, this uh, Xbox thing, in order to get it going. And just look at this. You want to have to go through this before uh, 
Oh, actually, you can just do Windows G, I believe. So you, you load some piece of software. Save changes, no. You load almost any piece of software. We'll go with Chrome again. You hit Windows G. And there you go. There's your reliability. Where's Windows G bringing that interface up? Maybe you do have to go into uh, Xbox beforehand. Crazy. Okay. Sorry to keep you running for through, waiting through this, but anyone who's expecting to be able to use and, and and I did all the upgrades. I did. I waited through like two rounds of you know an hour plus of upgrades to <clears throat> to go through the patch dance or whatever it is. So right here is the uh, the VCR feature. Okay, that's where you'll find them. So the advice on the internet is that you minimize this. Now you can hit Windows G. Ha! Ah, there we go. And, uh, oops, let me do that again. Actually, let me do that on Fresh Paint so you can see it in action. Windows G. Much better. We'll go into here. Let's see, am I really recording? Windows G, record. I think I'm recording. There should be some interface up. Windows G. Let me switch my colors. Go to red. And uh, let's see. Stay in here. Windows G. Record. Well, I was getting it to work before, but there you, there you go. There's just issues here, too. Maybe that's not working because I have something else going on. Who knows? But uh, let's see. I should be able to stop that now. It doesn't even look like it's recording, but let's go into uh, Xbox. doesn't show there. Let's uh, capture some. I could show you the uh, this being captured correctly. So which is it? That screenshot, I don't have that incorrect. This has got to be record. That is record. But it just disappears. So anyway, you can see that screencasting on the Pr Surface Pro 4 isn't the immediately easy thing that it's supposed to be. And I'm going through a number of my different options to, to work out what the problems are. But by far, my preference is to just drop the $300 on something that's like virtually Adobe Premiere here, except that it has all this, uh, this wonderful uh, screencasting uh, capability that I can access in almost all regards except for uh, audio while I'm recording. And you can also see there's this resolution issue. It's minimizing the screen. There it goes. It took three tries to get that right. You get this initializing window. And maybe there's some conflicts between screen quarter things going on. Who knows? But I certainly didn't go into the Microsoft one before I went into the Camt Camtasia one. And you can see it's showing my picture. It's showing that audio is on. It's showing the movement of the audio there. And so I just don't understand it. Uh, I'll probably send this up to YouTube and send the link over to uh, TechSmith uh, and try and open a ticket to see if I can get this worked out because this is why I have the Surface Pro. Got to solve it. Thanks for joining me. Hope to talk to you soon. And don't forget to subscribe.